Hey everyone, I'm Daniela with the Dee Dee's Art Workshop. And for today's DIY, I actually have somebody who's joining me. And no, it's not Bob Ross. It's actually my husband. Hey everyone, my name is Alex and today we're gonna to be making a floating fountain. You could actually make it with things you already have at home. Are you ready? Let's get crafty. These are the materials we will be using and you can find these items listed in the description below. Let's begin. First, we will be drilling a small hole in the back of our bucket. We will be using a quarter inch drill bit. We want to make sure to do it in the back, that way we won't be able to see this little opening. Now we're marking one of the wires to reconnect it to the same place. And we're going to cut this with some wire cutters. Now we can pass the wire through the hole we've already drilled. We will now be adding a switch to our fountain. We decided to add a switch to make it a little bit easier to turn our fountain on and off. If you're not doing this part, you simply just reconnect the wires back together with some electrical tape. Make sure you reconnect your wires and tape them back to their original spots where we marked prior. We are using an acrylic tumbler straw as our tube, but if you're using a different acrylic rod, use a hacksaw to cut to your desired length. Our acrylic tube fits inside the faucet. Make sure you measure your faucet so your holes are not exposed. We will be marking our holes at 12 millimeters. Mark your holes with the permanent marker with an equal distance between each. We will be using an eighth of an inch drill bit. And once we drill, we want to drill from one side coming out the other. Make them around the same distance apart. Now we're sanding our acrylic tube down to remove the burrs and to roughen up the plastic. This will allow the glue to stick better. Now let's glue our acrylic tube to our small aquarium pump, and we want to do so with some hot glue. This will help create a proper seal. We are now sanding down our bucket because we noticed the hot glue was not sticking to the material. This will allow the hot glue to stick properly. We are now placing our small aquarium pump inside of our bucket and we will be sealing the two holes inside and out with a hot glue gun. This is so we do not have any leaks. We will now be gluing our faucet to our acrylic tube. I am putting glue on the acrylic tube, but you may also just put it on the faucet instead. Don't put too much glue in this part, that way you don't cover your holes. Hold your faucet in place until it sets. Now we will add some water and make sure we don't have any leaks, make sure we don't have to adjust the pressure, or if there's other issues we have to fix. So now we're ready to add some rocks and we want to go ahead and do this evenly all around. Yeah. 
I will be adding some flowers on my fountain. I removed them from the stems and I will just place them all around. We have created the illusion of a floating faucet fountain. Check out my other YouTube tutorials for awesome DIY home ideas. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching and stay crafty!